Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, today is all about opinion thing, you know, to all my subscribers, Hassan AK Black in Europe TV, Casey Brown, Balance World, Prince TV, all of you bloggers who are going to come across this video and even new viewers who are going to see this video, I would like to see or hear your opinion in the comment section, okay? Yes, what is it all about? You know, as an asylum holder, can you go to your embassy and get Nula or Star just to get married, you know, whether a male or female? So this is the opinion I want to hear in the comment section. You know, thank you all. If you are here for the first time, I want you to subscribe, you know, because here you get information like this that could help. Thank you all to my subscribers. Please remember to share this information, this video, to friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, because I believe that even in the near future, your advice in the comment section, your opinion there will help people even in, in the near future coming. Future things, you know. All right, let's go straight to the point. You know, as an asylum holder, there are laws guiding all documents in Italy, whether asylum, subsidiary, cars, especially humanitarian, uh, protection aspect. All documents have different laws guiding them. So all the laws guiding each of the documents are different from one another. So in this case, we are looking into asylo political. Can they really go to their embassy and get nulla or stuff for marriage? You know, looking at the law guiding asylo, you don't have to have any contact with your embassy in any form, even traveling back to your country. You are not allowed to do so. Doing so means that uh, the story you told or your life is no longer at risk because you went there and came out successfully or having contact with them means that you there is something going on you know you still have interest in that country remember that you are still stateless person waiting to be confirmed citizenship in the country that gave you the refugee status okay so looking at that law based on it now people with subsidiary are not also political because sometimes people confuse themselves with subsidiary and political as illo political they are not the same thing so um do not base it based on people that have gone to the embassy with their subsidiary and get no lausta because the law guiding them is different from the law guiding as illo political okay so please so your advice in the comment section the question goes like this have you seen someone who have gone to the embassy his or her embassy with an asylo political as an asylo political holder who have gone to his or her embassy to get no lausta for marriage or if you are the person you know in question you are the person who have done this you have an asylo document and you have gone to the embassy your embassy to get no lausta for marriage please tell me in the comment section and here also if you have seen someone who is holding an asylum political document, permesso di sojourno, not the six months request per asylo, no. The, no, the real document now, asylum political. If you know someone who have gotten the last time with it and got married here in Italy and have renewed the document without having problem, maybe the document was not revoked at all, no problem at all, please I also want to see your opinion in the comment section. You know why? Your opinion there or your comment there, you know, or your idea there could help someone in the in the future you know somebody can come across it your comment you know there and take a point from it you know and uh, without getting into trouble you know because do not base in base on people said people said before you say people said what kind of document are they having you know and not because many people did it made it made it to be right you know because let's say for example everybody is doing drugs people are selling drugs does not make it normal to say uh, people are doing it go and do it there's no problem remember there's a law against selling of drugs you know doing drugs or crime so people are into crime doesn't make it right so do not base it based on yeah people do it people do it i want real confirmation if you know someone who have done it you know who did it got married with it and have renewed without problem and if you are the one who have done it and have renewed your document without problem i mean asylum political document please state in the comment section this information we will help someone in the future if not now in the future and remember if you have friends who have asylum political holders you can also share this video with them they will also have idea and they could drop their comment I'll be waiting to see your comment there and I'll be the first to give you a reply, okay? I remember yours truly, Chi, all right? Remember to show me love. Come on, like my video. That's the best you can do for me. Share, share, share to friends on WhatsApp, Facebook. I need this opinion. I need this in the comment section. Let it hit hot today, okay? Remember to subscribe and please press the bell. Press the bell because with it you get notification. I'm Chi, ciao.